بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد Then on top of that, the great self-sacrifice when you see someone come to him when his father died. Imagine when your father's died and someone comes up to you from Syria. He sees you. He says, what's your name? He says, Hussein. Son of who? He says, son of Ali ibn Abi Talib. He said, may Allah curse you and curse your father, Ali. If someone talked like that to you, how would you reply back to him? May Allah curse you and your father. The guy's name was Asam ibn Mustalaq. Imam said, is the wind of this area hurting you? Or maybe you've had a disagreement with your wife. Is there a shelter for you to stay in? Or has no one provided you with clothing? Please come and stay with my house if you are a stranger in this area. Wallah, that person began to cry. He said, Abba Abdullah, I cursed your father in front of you. And this is the way you reply back to me by making your house available for you. He said, this is the family of Rasulullah and the way we treat people. People may come and curse us, but we come back with morals because our grandfather Rasulullah came to perfect the morals of mankind. And that's why I will never forget the greatest self-sacrifice before Karbala. Notice none of these stories are anything to do with Karbala. Before Karbala and the Battle of Nahrawan, the soldiers who were caught by Ali ibn Abi Talib were standing there. One of the soldiers, you all know him very well. He was fighting Ali ibn Abi Talib on that day. He had some rope around his hands. It wasn't too tight, but it was around the hands. Imam al Hussein was walking past. He saw that soldier. And the soldier looked at him and said, Hussein, I beg you, please remove this rope from around my hand because the rope is causing nervousness in me. Remove it. And I'm asking you, Imam al Hussein went back to his father. He said, Oh, my father, I'd like a favor from you. He said, What is it? He said, This person over there, do you see him? He said, Yes, I see him. He said, He says to me, The rope is tight around his hand, even though you will never put a tight rope, but it seems to have been hurting him. And he asked me to remove it. Oh, my father, do you allow me? He looked at him and he said, Abba Abdullah, go ahead. Abba Abdullah, why do you want to answer this? He said, Father, when someone asks through me, how can I reject? I don't want the person to be embarrassed. When you realize who this person is, that's when you realize how magnanimous a man this man is. He went back to the person, he said, give me your hands. And he removed the ropes from the hands of Shimar bin Dil Joshan. Tell me which mercy did he show to you when he sat on your chest on the afternoon in Karbala?